1862, President Lincoln created the Medal of Honor for bravery and self-sacrifice beyond the call of duty. From the Civil War to Somalia, these are stories of character and determination, not of war, but of people who rose to meet the challenge of victory. What prepared them for these life and death decisions? What effects did the Medal of Honor have on their lives? Join Burt Reynolds as we salute heroes distinguished for their acts of valor. America, it would not be the land of the free if it were not the home of the brave. One day in my life, I was, a, I was the best soldier, the finest American, the finest human being that I, I could ever be in my life. Second Lieutenant Tom Custer, the brother of General George Armstrong Custer, was not only the recipient of one Medal of Honor, but two. Lieutenant Custer charged Confederate forces, exposing himself to waves of gunfire and capturing the Rebel Army's battle colors. As he rode off, he said, I'll bring you their colors, General. As he galloped towards the Confederate Army, he sustained a gunshot that entered his forehead and exited behind his right ear. He somehow stayed on his horse and managed to steal the rebel flag and race back to his brother where he said, they've killed me, but I brought back their colors. Tom Custer did not die that day, but carried on to capture another flag for which he received his second Medal of Honor. Tom Custer was killed at his brother's side several years later at the Battle of the Little Bighorn. Second Lieutenant Tom Custer recipient of two medals of honor. I told General Vandegrift, and I says, well, sir, I says, someday I'll take that medal and uh, I'll cut it up in 33 pieces and give it to everybody in my platoon. So even to this day, I say that this medal belongs to 33 people, not just me. The date was October 8th, 1918, in the first month of the Argonne Forest Offensive. Alvin Cullum York, a sharpshooting blacksmith from a little town in Tennessee called Paul Mall, was about to become Sergeant York, the greatest hero of the Great War. In less than three hours, Corporal York had single-handedly killed 25 Germans, silenced 35 machine guns, and taken 132 German prisoners of war. Corporal York became Sergeant York, Medal of Honor winner. To the children of the day, my message would be that you have immense value, that you are truly the, the future of our nation, and the, you are the receiver of all of this freedom. In the history of America, there's been 1,187,010 Americans that have perished so that we can be free today. And they are, are the receivers of all that freedom. As an artillery forward observer for the 3rd Marine Division, First Lieutenant Harvey Barnum served during Operation Harvest Moon in December 1965. I heard some shooting up forward and then all of a sudden uh, all uh, hell broke loose where we were and we were taken under intensive fire. Well, that was the first time I'd ever been shot at. And uh, I, like everybody else, hit the deck. And when I looked up from underneath my helmet, uh, 
all these young eyes, these young Marines were looking at me and I could see in their eyes saying, okay, Lieutenant, what are we gonna do now? While calling in artillery fire, he led counterattacks, directed gunship airstrikes against the numerically superior NVA. And while doing so, continually exposed himself to enemy fire. When the Marine fell, he ordered someone to pick them up. And everyone was brought out safely. For his courage under fire, his exemplary leadership above and beyond the call of duty, Barnum was awarded the Medal of Honor. Beyond its personal meaning, the Medal of Honor over the years has acquired another importance. By recognizing the few, it also recognizes the courage and sacrifice of all good American soldiers. It's especially brought home by the custom of choosing for a Medal of Honor one of the unknown soldiers of each American conflict. The unknown soldier's sacrifice stands for that of many. In honoring the courage of one who lies nameless, the nation honors the courage of all who have served above and beyond the call of duty. As it says, here rest in honored glory an American soldier known but to God.